Hey everybody, Patrick here with One Shot Kill It Media. We've got another first here on the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing our first BB gun. Uh, the BB gun itself is made by Umarex. This is a Colt Commander 1911 style BB gun. Uh, it's actually all metal and it utilizes a blowback system. Um, so when you're shooting this, you actually load a cartridge, a CO2 cartridge into the magazine, uh, insert that into the gun, pull the slide back, and then it actually uh, uses the blowback function to pop that slide back and reload a BB every time. So pretty cool that it has that realistic function. Um, overall, I think this is going to be an awesome product for maybe some mini shooters, uh, people that just love BB guns in general, squirrel assassins, and anybody that might be residing in California as well. Uh, just to show you a few other things here, I've got my Umarex BBs to go ahead and use for testing. We've got 1,500 of them, and we'll use them wisely. Uh, we've got Umarex. CO2 cartridges here, and then I also did get an extra magazine to use in the UberX uh, Colt Commander 1911 pistol. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll just go ahead and break this BB gun open out of the packaging here to show you what we're working with. Uh, we'll compare it to a real 1911 as well, just kind of see what sort of similarities and differences we have. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there, folks. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. I'm pretty excited to shoot it. Here we go. All right, folks, so like I was saying here, we've got the UberX. Colt Commander 1911 CO2 BB air gun. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pop this thing open and see what we're working with here. All right, there we go. So, unlike some of the other plastic sealed packaging I've seen in the past with other items that I've purchased. This one actually isn't too much of a nightmare to open up. As long as you just pop it open with this little corner here, it'll spread apart pretty easily. The clamshell casing sort of idea. All right, so packaging is toast. We'll see that later. All right, so first impressions here. We've got a magazine in the 1911, and I'm not sure if you could see that on camera, so I'll just go ahead and insert the mag and show you. Easy drop, just like a standard 1911. You got the button on the side there. Pull back, nice and easy. Safety in the same spot as any other 1911, standard 1911. Uh, your slide release is in the same spot as well. So, overall, Similar operation to a standard 1911 pistol. That's pretty cool, just right out of the box, messing around with it. Um, I can tell you right away, it's definitely not as heavy as a real 1911, uh, but that's to be expected. I mean, it's a BB gun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try the trigger out here quick. And, I mean, pretty standard trigger pull too. It's kind of a straight back 1911 trigger. They got the little slots cut out in there too, which is kind of a cool feature. I like the look of that. That's pretty neat. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we can find out about it here. All right, so we've got a little owner's manual. Obviously, uh, if you're giving this to anybody as a gift, especially if they're inexperienced, make sure that they read up on what they're supposed to do with guns. They do say that this is intended for folks that are 16 or older. Um, so, I mean, obviously that's all up to your discretion, um, but BB guns, let's see here, eh, you know, they can, uh, they can do some damage, especially if they get in the wrong hand. So just make sure if you give it to your kid, they're being responsible. Um, we have 325 feet per second velocity, blowback style system, steel BBs, uh, 12 gram CO2s, and it's a full metal build. So Umarex has made some pretty awesome, um, you know, different guns, I should say, airsoft guns and BB guns that really resemble the real steel models. Um, and they, they like, you know, like I was saying, they built in that blowback function, which gives you the real, you know, or realistic operations. So very cool. I like what they're doing here with these, with these BB guns these days. So, uh, I'm not going to read through this whole thing, but you guys can definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, we've got, let's see here, air gun safety rules. Uh, always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. Treat every gun as if it were loaded. Keep your finger off the trigger and out of the trigger guard until ready to shoot. Keep air guns unloaded until ready to shoot. Shoot the correct caliber and type of ammunition as marked on your air gun. 
Always be sure of your target and be sure your target has a safe backstop. Think of what you might hit the think of what you might hit if the ammunition misses or goes through your intended target. Know the danger distance of your air gun. And that can vary depending on, you know, how much uh, CO2 you have left and all that stuff. So that is a good point to keep in mind. Uh, always keep the gun on safe until ready to shoot. Never rely on an air gun's safety to protect, uh, protect you and others from unsafe handling. A safety is a mechanical device, not a substitute for common sense and good safety procedures. And that holds true with anything in terms of firearms. Uh, always wear shooting glasses to protect your eyes. Others with you must also wear shooting glasses. All right. And let's take a look here. Oh, they do have some more rules here on the back. Uh, let's take a look. Never shoot at hard surfaces uh, or a surface of water. Ricochet may occur. Uh, BBs are around, which give you a little bit more of an ability to have a ricochet, I suppose. Uh, never consume alcohol prior to or during a shooting session. Alrighty. Uh, always check to see if the air gun is on safe and unloaded when getting it from another person or from storage. Always store air guns in a safe place separate from ammunition power source so that it cannot be used by anyone authorized to use it. And with this, they're talking about scope mounts. I wouldn't mount a scope to this. Uh, never pull the trigger of a brake barrel air gun. Oh wait, okay, yeah. Again, we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. So these are the basic rules that Umarex sends along with their air guns. Uh, just like any sort of other firearm safety type stuff, just pay attention to what you're doing, be safe, and don't be a f idiot. <laughs> All right, here we go. What else do we have included in here? So full metal authenticity when they're building their different versions of these weapons. Chart for uh, velocity and preg uh, this is this is actually handy. This is a chart um, for the model of your gun, the caliber, what velocity to expect, and your danger distance. So that's actually a really cool feature that they included that just to give you an idea right away. So we've got that and return information if there's an issue. And we've got one big ass Allen key included as well. And I would imagine that's for turning your CO2 cartridges into the actual magazine. And let's just see. Yep, sure enough, that fits in there perfectly. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some of these other items that came with it. All right, here we go. All right, so taking a look again here, we've got the Colt Commander, we've got the magazine it came with, we've got an Umarex CO2 cartridge, we've got the whole box of the other cartridges here, and we've got our complete set of BBs here as well. We do have an extra magazine that was sent along. Now this isn't standard in the packaging. I had this one sent to me. Um, and then we have an additional Allen key in there as well. I already have one out, so I'm not going to take that out at the moment. Um, so just to show you guys what this all looks like, we've got a spacer here in the magazine and it looks like you just set your CO2 cartridge in there and I'd have to unscrew the bottom to get it to go in there all the way right now and then screw it back in but just so you can see how that works and then once that cartridge is in there the magazine's actually wide enough and the uh, magwell is wide enough to accept that and you just insert it into the pistol so that is a pretty cool design overall um, in terms of how you put your magazine in there and how you actually uh, power the air gun itself. That is pretty cool. I like that. I haven't looked at a lot of air guns in the last few years, um, ever since I was, you know, more like a teenager. And it's pretty cool to see what they've come up with here nowadays. Uh, let's go ahead and just compare this side by side with a, um, with a real 1911 too, just to kind of see what sort of similarities and differences we're looking at. All right, folks. So obviously if you have a BB gun, you don't want anybody to mistake it as a real gun. Uh, but that's usually why you don't do anything stupid with them, you know, like carry it around with you and try to rob a store or something dumb like that. So don't do that if you're buying a BB gun um, or any gun for that matter. Let's just try to obey the law. That sounds good to me if it sounds good to you. But let's take a look at a comparison here. We have our Rock Island Armory uh, TAC Ultra 45, and this is the tactical model. So we are gonna see a little bit of a difference with this front rail up here, as opposed to a classic 1911 style Colt Commander. But other than that, we are gonna see quite a few similarities. 
Uh, we do have the grip safety right here. And then we also have our regular safety on the side, same spot. So let's go ahead and just compare these side by side. I'll just point those features out again here. Let's get these all in frame for you. Okay, so again, real 1911, uh, Rock Island Armory, TAC Ultra 45, um, and then we have the Colt Commander by Umarex. So we've got a safety right here. We've got the hammer, like normal as well. And just so you can see, our safeties go up and down, just the same on both models. Um, just out of uh, the naked eye looking at this, very similar design for your magazine release, a checkered button. Um, trigger is also very similar too. This has uh, circles cut into it. This one has more of like a square shape. Uh, grips, these are more of your classic 1911 grip on the Umarex. Uh, these are a little bit more aggressive, sort of G10 style grips on the Rock Island. Um, sights, we have uh, white dot sights in the rear with a red dot up front, fiber optic on the real 1911. We've got white dot sights all the way through on the uh, Colt Commander here, the Umarex BB gun. Um, magazine wise, we're looking at a fairly similar size here too as well, uh, which is pretty cool that they're keeping those in a similar size, uh, just I guess to add a little bit of realism to that weapon. Uh, when I look at the weight, um, you know, empty, they're fairly similar. And again, we have a little bit more heft with this rail on the Rock Island up front. Um, but you can definitely tell that this is just a little bit lighter weight. Um, once you throw a, a full magazine in there with BBs, um, you know, you might be looking at a similar weight. That's something we'll have to test out. Um, when you have a full magazine full of 45, in the, uh, the real 45 caliber 1911 here, uh, I can guarantee you that it'll probably be a little heavier, but we'll test it out and see. Um, so other than that, folks, next thing that we'll do is uh, show you a video of us, you know, how to put the CO2 in, how to load the magazine, um, how to insert it, how to get everything set on that Colt Commander. And then uh, from there, we'll give you a couple videos, two of us testing it out and shooting it. Uh, but like always, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll have information on air guns, BB guns, real steel. Uh, we'll have all sorts of information coming for you on all different portions of the firearms industry here in the future. All right, folks, again, so I think that we're looking at a awesome opportunity for a Christmas gift here uh, for somebody who's younger, somebody who likes BB guns a lot, um, for folks too that you know might not be able to have a regular gun where they live. Um, you know, squirrel assassins, etc. Uh, everybody likes to shoot BB guns. They're just fun. They're something to do, and they're pretty affordable uh, to you know for a hobby to keep yourself busy. So have some fun out there, folks. Keep shooting. Stay safe, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted on how everything works out with this gun here. All right, thanks everyone. Have a good day. Later.